Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a station aka a seat on your avatar so people can uh, sit on your shoulder, on your head, whenever you want really. It's actually not that difficult. Uh, so first we're going to create our seat. I'm going to create it under my chest so it moves with my avatar evenly. If I put it under my shoulder it would like you know go up and down because the shoulder moves. But the chest is somehow stable so I'm going to do that. So I create an empty object under my chest. I'm gonna name it uh, station sitting. Now I need to add the VRC station, which is this. And uh, this is actually, you know, how it can be set up. You don't really necessarily have to change anything here. But I need to add one more thing, which is actually uh, a collider. So we're gonna add a box collider. And this is basically what the uh, other player is gonna see as a you know a silhouette and click to be able to you know sit on it. So you have to check is trigger, so it's just used for triggering and not for actual collision because that would mess up everything. And now you move your object. And for example, I'm gonna move it on my shoulder, more or less. And this is basically all that needs to be done. Um, one thing that needs to happen, this needs to be enabled like this on upload, but you can have a toggle that toggles it off automatically. Um, that's fine. It just has to be, you know, when you're uploading, it has to be turned on like this. So we're gonna actually do a little cheeky upload and we're gonna test. And I'm gonna show you how we can test this ourselves without, you know, having to ask someone. So let me just quickly upload this. And I'm going to show you how to test it. So the avatar is uploaded. Now we can test it. And how we do that, we open, open our Creator Companion. And you go to Tools and you launch the VRC Quick Launcher. And this is very useful, by the way. So this is what it uh, looks like. And you can launch multiple VRChat games uh, to test stuff on locally. Uh, the fastest option is to have a world that you have built yourself locally. So you can test that test on it or you can also create a lobby and join it or whatever you can use whatever function so you set it like this you put uh, two profiles down here and you launch all selected and it's going to launch two vr chat instances for you real quick under one account okay so now I'm in my little testing world with a little platform that i built and no skybox but that's fine um, you can see my avatar and I'm also in this avatar and we're gonna test the sitting so you can see this uh, box is right here I sit on it I'm gonna use my camera to see what's happening and you can see I'm sitting at a good height but maybe I want um, the height to be adjustable because everybody has a different avatar not everybody has play space people are on desktop and whatnot so I might actually add a slider that's going to change the height of the sitting and I'm going to show you how to do that in Unity. So in Unity I'm going to create a parameter for the radial. I'm going to name it sitting station height make it a float and if you're wondering why does do my parameters and my menu look a bit different it's because i have vrc fury in the project it's not mandatory i just happen to have it in there for different uh, reasons you don't have to have it now we have it set up and i'm gonna get into my fx layer add my parameter add a new layer make it weight one and I'm gonna make the animation I'm gonna make name it um, station sitting height and we can animate it basically like anything else let's say we're gonna start down here and on frame 100 we're gonna make it uh, let's see we're gonna make it up here because why not? And we also gonna edit the curve. For that I need to adjust. Oh, bo 
both pairs actually. Uh, right click and we're gonna set it to linear so we have a nice smooth transition between you know both positions. Furrow the whole animation. Linear. Now we can test it by sliding and you can see how it goes up and down. And we're gonna put the animation into this layer and I'm gonna set the motion time to the flow that we just made. And that's it, it's quite simple. And um, I'm gonna upload the avatar and I'm gonna show you what it looks like again. So we're back. I've uh, changed an avatar and reloaded into the new one. Now I'm gonna test it. You can see how the sitting collider is down here. So I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna get into my other avatar and I'm gonna adjust the sitting position up and down. You can see how it's moving. You can see the shoes. So maybe, let's see, maybe like this. And uh, let's use the camera. And yeah, that's, uh, well, not really, but you know, you get the point. You can easily adjust the height, or even like uh, moving it on a different axis or rotating, whatever, uh, using a quick little radial. So there's that. Uh, don't mind the weird skybox. Now you know how to make seats for avatars. Have fun. And you can add up to six of them onto an avatar. So let me know what you think, uh, like and subscribe, tell me what, some cool stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.